Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got the Four of Wands showing up. So someone possibly with fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, this could be a twin flame type connection um, or someone that you are meant to get married to or be in a long-term committed relationship. Now, what else we need to know about this person? We have the Eight of Cups, okay? Um, what they like about you, the Knight of Wands, so your fire, your passion, and what else we need to know about the relationship? We have the Three of Pentacles. So some of you, you may meet this person through work or through friends and in the community. Um, this is someone you're very compatible with. And it could be a Taurus. Um, although I feel that um, it just means that really, truthfully, you may end up marrying this person, Sag. Um, or you just being in a higher level of commitment. There's an intense energy of compatibility and fitting in really well with each other's friends and family. Um, there might be some sort of Egyptian connection, whether one of you has Egyptian heritage um, or someone that was living in Egypt is from Egypt. You have an Egyptian friend who introduces you. Um, it could be Egypt. It could also just be anywhere in North Africa um, is what's coming through, but it's not going to be for all of you. Um, so just take it as it resonates. Okay, so we've got this Four of Wands energy. This person is looking for marriage and commitment, which tells me they're not a player. They're looking for something stable and steady. All right. Um, this person may have rushed into a marriage or a commitment in the past. So I feel like this is somebody who definitely wants to be in a relationship. Um, but I feel like they may have learned some tough lessons. Um, or they rushed into a marriage with someone and they, you know, they may tell you about the regrets they have because of that. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. It's like now they've sort of changed their tune. This is somebody that is down to earth. They want to take things slow, but they definitely do want that commitment is what I'm getting. At the bottom of the deck, we have Temperance Energy. So it feels like this is a connection that is very much in alignment with you. Um, it may have a healing quality to it. They may see you as an earth angel or you see them that way. And remember, when temperance shows up in a reading, it's always an indication that there's some sort of divine assistance. Okay, so pay attention to number synchronicities. Um, signs from your angels and your guides will probably be really amped up before um, and when you meet this person. Okay, so what else we need to know about them? They could have strong water in their chart. All right, we see that with the Eight of Cups, so possible Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. And we also see, okay, this is someone, ooh, I always get really strong Scorpio energy, but it could be Cancer for me as a reader, um, that your person is deeply committed to your connection. They're strong. They can be counted on to have your back. Yeah, so this is like your ride or die. And, ooh, this person may have children from a previous connection, um, or maybe you two are meant to have children. And if you're not there or you don't want that or it's just that's not a reality for you um, or it's not in your plans, it's just this beautiful, nurturing, loving energy that they're going to bring to your life. And we also see that maybe they work in counseling as a counselor. For some of you, they're going to be really open about having been in therapy, trying to heal. Um, but there's somebody who's really good at mediating whenever the situation warrants and they easily guide people through difficult circumstances. So there is a sense of like peace and ease with this person, which I, I think you're going to find just so balancing. Now we have the eight of cups. So these readings are, my intentions are that this is always somebody completely brand new, but it is possible that it's not, right? With the Eight of Cups that this person has walked away from you or you walked away from them. So you really do want to trust your intuition. But for some of you, this person has walked away from, you know, a connection that they may have rushed into or maybe even a marriage. Um, this woman here looks like she's been moving boxes. Maybe also this person might be starting their own practice. You know, maybe they, they are, you know, a psychologist or a therapist or something. Um, some sort of healer, light worker, but it doesn't have to be. It could, it could really be anything. And I do think that this person, 
yeah, some of you, they might have just recently moved to your area or they've, you know, they're definitely single and living on their own. Interesting message there. Um, let's see. This person may have a bit of a dark past or something that they're not super happy about that's happened um, in their past. They are rolling in money. Okay, that's nice to know. And it's going to be love at first sight. And this is going to be a very pleasant surprise for you, Sagittarius. Okay. I love that. Let's see what else we need to know about this person. What else do my Sagittarius need to know about this person, please? What else do my Sagittarius need to know about this person, please? Okay, they have a unique smile. Yeah, they've been really hurt by a loved one in the past. You know, they may have even rushed into a relationship with someone who was like a narcissist or even abusive or just like didn't want to let them go or something like that. Um, they could have also suffered abuse when they were younger. Um, they may speak with an accent. So this could be someone from a different city, state or country. And it looks like they're going to ask you out in person. So music will be playing when they ask you out. Of course, maybe it's going to be an online thing and you're listening to music, having a good old time when they when they ask. All right, so let's see. And the letters we're going to associate with this person, these could be prominent letters in their name, um, their initials, your initials, where they work, where you meet, where they live. So we get a lot of vowels, O, E, and A. Okay. Okay, so what they're going to like about you, the Knight of Wands. Now, if this isn't Sagittarius energy, you know, I don't know what is. This is, this is, they like your passion. They like your charisma. They like your drive. They find you extremely, like, good looking, um, very attractive, adventurous. You know, Sagittarius is also known for being quite intellectual and, you know, Sagittarius rules higher education. So they like what you know, what you've experienced and how you articulate it. Um, they love, you know, they might love talking about like larger philosophical questions with you. Um, and they also love that you're large hearted and you're spontaneous. All right. So I'm loving that. All right. Let's see. You know, I totally skipped um, a deck. I am going <laughs> to, I'll make up for it, I promise. All right, let's see. What else do they like about you? Okay, okay, irresponsible. I don't think you guys are irresponsible, but they might love that you take risks um, and that sometimes you're just like, you know what, F it, let's just do this. Let's take a weekend away, you know, or, you know, let's just, let's just get a babysitter and go. <laughs> All right, um, they like that you... You know, they, I think this person's addicted to your social media, looking at your pictures, looking at your experiences. And they also like that you question their past, but they it seems like they do have a bit of a dark past, but they feel comfortable in telling you like what they've been through and that you don't judge them. Um, and we also see they might love that you're a night owl. Okay. Um, that may not be for all of you, but... Um, okay, let me just quickly pull this other deck. I got a little thrown off because I forgot... And it's a good one, so we can't leave it out. So what else do we need to know? This could be what, you know, what we need to know about them or what they like about you. All right, so they, you guys are going to have a great shared sense of humor. It's going to be fun. This person might really think you've got great legs, toned legs, the way you walk. Um, or, you know, this could be what you like about them. And we also see, ooh, so there, there could be uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius in your chart or in theirs. And this person just loves your curves. So whatever that, those curves might be, Sag, they, you're their type. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else they might like about you. What else does this person like about my Sagittarius, please? What else do they like about Sagittarius, please? All right, so we, ooh, all right. So they like that you're benevolent and compassionate um, and that you recognize the external force within yourself and others. Eternal, not external, I'm blind. Yeah, all right, so they love that you're just like, you're a really good person. You're also a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> you're a really good person, but you're humble is what I'm getting. And yeah, they love that you have, yeah, I love that. And then this kind of, feeds into that irresponsible energy, which I don't want you to take offense to. Um, it's like you see the potential for sacred beauty in everything. 
and you believe everything's possible and you're willing to take those risks or take steps to see if it's possible or not, right? And they also see you as the ultimate companion. Um, loyal, um, so this is loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. So they see you as like the perfect partner. Wow, all right, Sag, I love this. All right, now let's see what else you need to know about the connection. Um, all right, so we have the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, you might meet this person through work. Others of you, it could be through friends, you know, the community, um, some sort of like group, like it could be like a meditation group, it could be anything. Um, but you two are very compatible, you're on the same page. All right, and for some of you, this person you might meet online because the Seven of Cups or the Eight of Cups in reverse for me is like, you know, meeting online. Um, it's going to be a very dreamy energy. Um, you know, you might feel a little bit confused at first with this person. Like, is this too good to be true? Or there might be, you know, nobody's perfect. So we do see that there's something here that you need to know about their past before moving forward. I do feel a lot of you, you're going to be accepting and okay with it. Uh, for select few of you, this could be somebody coming back around. But like I said, it's really truly more of a, you know, a new person reading. But yeah, it's going to be a stable connection. All right, one that definitely, wow, and some of you, you're meant to have children with this person. Or, you know, this is a divine counterpart situation that came out with the Four of Wands. There's definitely growth, um, expansion here. And this person just holds you in really high regard. All right, so let's see what else we need to know about this connection. Sorry, the dogs are about to kick off. All right, you're gonna you're gonna feel you're gonna be. <laughs> Let me untie my tongue here. You are going to feel completely at ease with this person. You're gonna be able to be open with them again. They're gonna feel comfortable with you holding space for them to talk to you about their past. Oh, this is gonna be an abundant yeah. connection. All right, and we also get detached with love to clearly see the truth. So you might have to, you know, you might, if you find out something about this person's past that, you know, maybe makes you a little bit uncomfortable or you're not so sure about, Spirit's saying take your time. You know, you don't have to accept everything about someone, and if it doesn't work for you or if it's a deal breaker, feel free to move on, right? But I also feel, too, that, like, you're going to see very clearly that, you know what, this is this is somebody that's worth investing in. And we see a lot of you, you may end up marrying this person or being in a stable connection, building a family, building a business. Okay, it's going to be different for all of you, but it feels fantastic, to be honest. And my Saggies out there, you deserve this, all right? So let's see. Um, what else do we need to know about this connection? It's going to be hot. <laughs> okay, it's going to be passionate. And yes, this is your soulmate. This is your divine counterpart. And let's get some important dates here for this per for this connection. What dates do we need to know here, please, for my Sagittarius? What dates do we need to know? Okay, so maybe you'll meet them next week. Maybe you're already talking to this person in the coming weeks. Okay, so it's like weeks, not months. It's going to happen sooner than expected. Boom. Sag, I'm going to leave it there. This is awesome. Um, sending you all so much love and light. Sorry you couldn't see all the cards there. Sending you all so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using. Or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Or if you want to check out my Etsy shop and grab a Zodiac candle for you or someone you're looking for a small gift for. Um, that would be so appreciated. Love and light. Take care.